Hello, welcome to your cardio lattes workout. So as always, we have two exercises. We're repeating them eight times and then moving on. I'm wearing shoes today. You can have the option to wear shoes or go barefoot. I've got my mat long ways here so I don't stomp all over it because no one wants dirty feet on their pretty yoga mat. We're going to start warming up with some lunges. So we inhale, lunge the right leg back. Exhale, we stand, tap the toes. Inhale, we lunge. And exhale, we rise and tap. Hands are up in a genie position. Nice and slow. Inhale, we lunge right leg back. Exhale, drive through left heel, squeeze that booty. Inhale to lunge. And exhale to rise. Your harder option is to add this knee drive. So as you stand, scoop your lower abs and float that right knee up in line with the belly button. Keep that eye gaze forward to help us balance. Let's go for a few more here. Exhale, we rise, and inhale, we lunge for six, five, press through this front heel to activate the back of the leg, four, bracing through those abs for three, two, and one more. Give it a little shake out, let's change legs. Hands to genie, left leg goes back, inhale, we lunge. And exhale, we rise, drive through that right heel, tap the toes. Inhale, we lunge. Exhale, we rise, tap the toes. Scooping through those lower abs as we rise and squeezing through that right butt cheek. Harder option, you can start to float that knee up into a knee drive, scooping those lower abs to lift. And we lift that left foot off the floor, floor mat. Exhale, we rise. We go for another six. Drive through that front heel. Five, inhale, lunge, exhale, rise. Four, press through that heel. Three, keep that chest up. Two, and one more, lunge, and rise. Give it a little shake out. Let's stretch out through those hips. We're going into some lateral lunges now. So step those feet nice and wide. We're going to step one leg out to the side, coming into a lateral lunge, and then stay low, change sides. So one leg bends as the other extends. We stick that booty out behind us, and we lift the toes of the straight leg, just coming into a hip stretch side to side. Hands can remain in prayer position in front of our chest, or they can go down on the floor. Make sure you're pressing into the heel of the bent knee, not lifting that heel. That's cheating. So we lift the toes of the straight leg, but we keep the heel down of the bent knee. Not like this. So keep that heel lowered. Don't let it lift. Keep going side to side. A few more here. Hands can remain in prayer or go on the hips or behind the lower back. Last one's here. And let's come up. We're coming into hamstring kicks to finish our warm up. So I'm going to turn and face the wall. Pull my pants down a little bit. We're taking one hand and we're reaching the opposite leg forward and tapping the toes. For eight, seven. If you don't have a wall, you can reach your opposite arm out to the side. Four, lengthening through that hamstring. Three, two, one. Changing sides. Reaching arm forward, leg back. Exhale, we lift. Toes to opposite hand. See if you can tap the ankle or the toes. Good. For five, four, three, two, one. All right. Looks like we are ready to go. I'm going to show you our first exercise. It's an X jump. So we start with a squat jump. We jump the feet in and out on the toes, and then we land on the heels in the squat jump reaching one hand down to the floor. Your easier option if you can't jump is to come to a triple squat pulse with a heel raise. So we squat down, we pulse three times, rise up, lift the heels. Our second exercise is a mountain climber in a plank position, running those knees to the chest nice and quick. Easier option, half plank, and you go into single leg tap outs to the side. All right, let's get ready to go. Starting with those X jumps, we're going in three, two, one, let's go. We jump in, land low. Reach one arm to a T as you reach down, and as you jump with your feet to the middle, both arms go out to a T. I don't know if I explained that properly, but just watch. 
Easier option, you can go into your triple pulse squat with your heel lift. We have four, three, two, and one. Let's get ready for that mountain climber. I'm gonna come down onto the ground, hands under the shoulders. We're going in four, three, step out to the plank, two, and one. Let's go, run those knees in nice and quick. Choose to go knees towards the center to the belly button or knee across to opposite elbow if you'd like to work your obliques a little more. We've got another 10 seconds here. Stay strong through those shoulders, pulling up through those armpits. We have four, three, two, and one. Coming up, next jump, second round. Going in four, three, two, and one. Inhale, squat, exhale, jump together, and then land low in that squat. Reaching opposite hand to the floor each time. Make sure your abs are braced and we're not rounding through our upper back. No, no, we never want to round through our upper back in squats. Keep that good posture. If you can't quite touch the ground, that's okay. You could keep hands on hips or tap opposite ankle or knee. All right, have a little breather. Going into our second set of mountain climbers, pull your pants down if you need. In three, two, and one. Let's go. Press out, run it out nice and quick. Scoop those lower abs, lifting up through the chest. Eye gaze down to the mat. Keep going. Point those toes as we come in. We've got another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest for 10. Third round. Heart rate should be getting high. Breathe. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Jump in, out, in, land low. So as you jump your legs together, we're just on the toes, and as we land low into our squat, we press those heels down. Keep going. We're over halfway there. We've got another five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Breathe. I'm going to come down into the mat, so I'm ready to go. We're going in five, four, three, two. And one, let's go. Mountain climber. Remember, easier option is half plank tap outs. Keep going here. Scooping through those lower abs. Keep the pace up nice and quick. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring it up. Rest for 10. Catch your breath. Round 4. Going in 4, 3, 2, and one, let's go, jump, X jumps. Remember, easier option, triple pulse squat with a heel raise at the top. Jumping in and out with those X jumps. Land nice and low in that squat chest up. We've got six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest for 10, coming into our mountain climber. Spree, grab a drink if you need. We're going in four, three, Two and one. Let's go. Run it out nice and quick. If this gets too much but half plank is too easy, why don't you just hold a plank instead? We've got another 10. Pulling that belly button up. Keep going. I know it's getting tough. Breathe through it. We've got four, three, two, and one. Rest for 10. All right. Fifth set. Rest for another five, four, three, Two and one, let's go. Exhale, we jump in and out or triple pulse squat with a heel raise. Keep going here, we've got another 12. Keep that chest up, jump in out, working those inner thighs. For five, four, three, two, and one. Rest for 10, breathe. Grab a drink if you need. We're going in four, three, two, and one, let's go, mountain climbers, nice and quick, run it out. Scoop those lower abs, stay strong through your arms. I know it's burning, but we're almost there. Big breaths. We've got another 10. Exhale as we pull that knee in. We've got another four, three, two, and one. Rest it for 10, three. All right, six sets, almost there. Rest for three. Two, and one. Let's go. In, out. 20 seconds. Big jumps. We're in that home stretch. Breathe. Get that heart rate nice and high. 
Land through those heels. Squeeze that booty as we jump. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Rest for ten. Grab a drink if you need or come down on the floor. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Let's go run it out nice and quick. Knees can go across the body for even more. Keep that upper body strong. Keep that eye gaze down. We've got another eight, seven, six. You got it. Stay strong for five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Breathe. Round seven of eight. Coming up. We're going in three, two, and one. Let's go. Jump out in. Out in. Brace through those abs, land low in that squat, make the exercise count, make every rep count. Up, down, up, down for five, four, three, two, and one. Rest for ten. Big breaths. <sighs> Going in four, three, two, one. Let's go, mountain climber. Run it out nice and quick. Point those toes. So if you're going to lift the toes off the mat as you bring those knees in, we've got another 10. Keep going. Stay strong. Easier option. Hold your plank if you need. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh. Dying. One more set. Let's go. Make it strong. The last one's always the best, I think. Let's go. In, out. I find it the easiest. I mean, the first one's easier, but the last one's the second easiest, I think. Let's go for another 10. Move nice and quick. We've got six, five, four, three, two, and one. One more set of mountain climbers. Going in five, four, three, two. Let's go. In, out. Crisscross is your harder option. To the center is easier. Super strong through those abs. You got it. Big breaths. We've got another 10. Nine. Keep moving. Keep going. We've got another six. Five. You can do it. Last four. Three. Two. And one. Rest it down. Oh my gosh. Grab a drink. We're going to rest for about a minute here before we go into our second set of exercises. Catch your breath. Big breaths into the nose and out through the mouth. Grab a drink, have a lie down if you need. You just rest and I am going to show you the next round of exercises that we're going to do. So our first exercise is a Pilates burpee. We step out into a plank, we do a plank jack and then we stand up and we raise those arms overhead. No jumps because it's a Pilates burpee. Our second exercise is a crunch with three pulses. So we're gonna curl up, extend one leg, and then pulse the curl three times with three little exhales. Then we curl up, extend the opposite leg, and pulse with three little exhales. Your easier option is to plant your feet down. Your lower abs won't work, but your lower back will be protected. You do your crunch with your three pulses there. All right, let's get ready to go. Grab one more drink if you need. I will show you an option for those crunches that's modified as well. Um, for the Pilates burpee, if you need a modification, you can get rid of that plank jack. All right, standing up, getting ready to go. We're going to go in another 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Let's go. We go down, back, one plank jack, jump out and in. Lift your chest and lift your arms overhead. So when you come to the bottom of that squat, lift your chest before you lift your butt. That's going to protect your back. Reach those arms overhead. That's going to get that heart rate up. We've got four, three, two, one. That wasn't so bad, was it? Resting down for 10. We're getting ready for those crunches. Lower back presses down. We're in a spinal imprint for our crunch. Okay, so that means the whole back is pressing down into the mat. Let's get started. Exhale, we curl three pulses. Inhale, we lower. The whole time we keep that lower back pressing down. Don't let it lift away. This is going to protect it. 
Just need to scooch a little bit. Keep going. Exhale, we curl three pulses. We've got four, three, two, and one. That wasn't so bad either. Round two. Rest for five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. We jump back, plank jack out and in. Jump in, lift the chest first, then lift the arms. Reach. And jump back. So the plank jack is allowing us to still keep that heart rate out without having to do a jump at the top. You're welcome. <laughs> Last two. And one. Rest for 10. Three. Rest for four. Press the lower back down. Three. Let's go. Exhale. We curl. Extend one leg. Three pulses. Now I find it easier to reach my arms here. So reach forward. That is easier. So harder option, hands behind the head. Easier option, reaching forward. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Rest for 10. Third set. Breathe. Four, three, two. Let's go. Down, jump to plank, jump out, in, jump in, and then rise. Arms up. Plank, plank, jack, jump in, booty down, chest up, arms up. As you reach your arms up, slide your shoulders down your back so we're working those postural muscles. Breathe. Keep going here for three, two, and one. Coming down onto the mat for those crunches. Lying down, we're going in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Exhale, we curl three pulses at the top. Either reaching the arms or taking hands behind the head. Alternating legs every time. Just make sure if you're reaching the arms that you're not using your back to lift you up. It's a lot easier to use the back here than the abs, so use those upper abs. Last three, two, and one. Let's come up. Four, set, almost halfway. Going in four, three, two, one. Let's go. We jump out to plank, plank jack, jump in, booty down, chest up, arms reach up. As you reach your arms up, turn your palms in, thumbs back, squeeze those shoulder blades together. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one more, two, and one. Coming down onto the mat for those crunches. Rest for five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Exhale, curl, three pulses. That's three exhales. And then inhale lower. So exhale, curl. Three exhales. And then inhale lower. The lower we extend the leg, the harder this is going to be. We have another five, four, three, two, and one. Rest it down. <clears throat> Set five. Grab a drink if you need. We're going, but you better be quick. We're going in four, three, two. And one, let's go. Jump to plank, jack it out, reach arms up, thumbs back, palms in. As we reach up, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Working those postural muscles in the upper back. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it down to the mat for our crunches. Three, we're going in four, three, Two and one. Let's go. Exhale, curl. Three, exhale. <sighs> Inhale, we lower. Slide ribs to hips as we curl. Remember, we're in an imprinted spine, so keep smushing that lower back down into the mat. We've got another six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Sixth set. We are almost there. Big breaths. We're going in four. Three, two, let's go. We go out. Lift, arms up, thumbs back, palms in. One plank jack and we rise. Drive through those heels and squeeze your butt cheeks together as we rise. Imagine we got that $100 note between those butt cheeks. Squeeze it tight. <laughs> We've got three, two, and one. Rest. Getting ready for our crunches. We're going in five, four, three. Two and one. Let's go. Exhale, curl. Three pulses. And inhale, we lower. Exhale, we curl. Three little lifts. 
and inhale, we lower. Keep that chin away from the chest. Remember, imagine we have a peach between the chin and the chest whenever we curl. We have four, three, two, and one. Rest it down or rest it up. This is our seventh set. Going in three, two, one. Let's go. Jump back to plank. Jack. Rise. Squeeze that hundred dollar note between those cheeks. Palms in as we reach up. Good. Keep going for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest for ten. One set and a half to go. Going in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Exhale, we curl. Three pulses up, single leg extension. Inhale, we lower. Press your lower back down into the mat. Imagine you're trying to squish a blueberry down into the mat and press it down there. We've got another four, three, two, and one. One more set to go. Rest for five, four, three. Let's go. We jump out, in, up, squeeze that booty. 15 seconds here, not long. Last little bit getting that heart rate up. We're going to finish with two minutes of abs. We've got six, five, four, one more, three, two, one. Lie it down. Last little bit. Going in five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, we curl, extend one leg, three pulses. I'm going to go hands behind the head for this last round, and I can confirm it is a lot harder. <laughs> My pulses are a little bit smaller. Let's go for another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Have a little breather. All right, we're going to finish with two minutes of abs. Grab a drink if you need. Three. I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to do them pretty much right after each other. Just going to change my mat around so I can lie on it. All right, first exercise is a roll up into a tabletop. So bend the knees, we roll up. Reach the hands behind us, squeeze the booty, lift to tabletop, and then we roll down. Harder option is to add a tricep push-up, which I'll show you on the next rep. So this is level two. Reach to your ankles first, tap your ankles, then reach behind you, one tricep dip in tabletop, and then lower down. Second exercise is double leg lowers. Hands can rest under that booty is your easier option for your lower back. Harder option, as you lift your legs, you add an ab curl, sliding ribs to hips. Exhale, we lift. Lower back stays pressing down. Let's get started with those ab roll-ups. Have fix your hair if you need. Grab a drink if you need. And we are going to start with legs together. Breathe. All right, let's go. Exhale, we roll up, tap the ankles, reach behind, pink fingers face off, lift to tabletop, reach forward, roll down. Reach forward, roll up, tabletop, add your tricep dip to make it harder. I already worked my triceps yesterday to death, so I'm not going to add the tricep dip today. Exhale, we roll up, tap the ankles first, then reach the hands behind, squeeze your booty as you lift into your tabletop. Tap, reach. Squeeze and lift and lower it down. So we're really stretching through the front of the body, working through the kind of whole body with that tabletop. We got another 15 seconds to go before we go into those double leg lowers. I actually really like this exercise. I found it on YouTube the other day. I hope you like it too. <laughs> We've got another five, four, three, two, one more rep. Lift and bring it down. All right, getting ready for our double leg lowers. Press the lower back down, draw ribs to hips, imprint the spine, squish your blueberry into the mat. Bent legs is your easier option, straight legs is harder. I like to go heels together, toes apart in slight external rotation. Feels better on my hip flexors. 
Let's go. Exhale, we curl as we lift the legs. If you're taking that option, inhale, lower the head, lower the legs. Remember, as you lower those legs, keep the lower back pressing down into the mat. Don't let it lift away. Exhale, slide ribs to hips as we curl. Inhale, we lower. Sorry about the focus. My camera apparently can't focus on me right now. Exhale, we curl, lift the legs. Inhale, lower. Now it doesn't have to be a huge lower. Find your range. We got about another 20 seconds to go. Move nice and slow. I like to go up for three, down for three. Up for three, down for three. Let's go for another 10. Last one's here. Exhale, we curl. Inhale, we lower. For five, four, three. Two and one. Hug those knees in. Little rock side to side. Breathe. Grab the outsides of the feet. Let's take a happy baby. Pull the knees to the armpits. Open through the hips. Big breaths here. Keep trying to press your booty down into the mat for a deeper stretch. Flexing the feet. Relaxing the shoulders. Couple more big breaths here. And let's reach arms and legs long. Give them a little shake out. Let's roll up to sitting. Way to come onto hands and knees, four point kneeling for some cat cow. Bring those hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Exhale, curl the spine to cat, scoop the belly. Inhale through center, exhale, arch the back, lift the booty. Inhale through center, exhale, cat, press down into the hands. And then inhale, exhale, cow. Inhale, exhale, cat, scoop the belly. Inhale, exhale, cow, pull the Armpits back to the hips. One more. And let's press back to down dog. Pressing those heels down, walking the legs out, spreading the fingers wide and sending that booty up into the air. Pressing the chest to the thighs. Walking out through those legs. Or you can keep them straight if you prefer. Deep breaths. We're going to send that left leg to the sky. Pressing down into the right heel into three leg dog. Couple more breaths. And let's send that left leg up to the sky. Push that right heel down to the mat as much as you can. Bend the knee and open the hip on this left side, stretching through the front of the hip, pressing chest to thighs, dropping through that left foot. We're not here for long. We're going to come into that pigeon now. Bring that leg forward. Flex the foot. Place the shin as parallel as you can get to the front of the mat. Choose to lift the chest or to fold forward. I like sitting up for a couple of breaths. To feel nice in those hips. Pushing that right hip down to left heel. Choose to come down onto your elbows or to stay up there on your hands. Breathe here. Keep reaching right toes long and right hip down. Now I'm going to move into a, I'm not, I'm not sure what this stretch is called, I'm not a yoga teacher, but you can choose to stay in this stretch, you can watch the stretch I'm going to do and choose to stay in this stretch instead if you need to. I'm going to lift my chest up, reach back with my right hand and grab my inside of my right foot, trying to square the chest forward, bending through that right knee. That's a pretty painful stretch for your tight in the quads or the hips, so just take it easy. If you're bending here, you can hook your right elbow inside your foot. I can't quite get there today. Trying to square the shoulders, maybe stretching through the chest as well. I get a big stretch through the chest here. Choose to stay in your pigeon, king pigeon. That's what this one's called. Breathe here. Yeah. You can choose to kind of pull your foot in and out. I think that feels good. So kind of pull your heel towards your butt and then release a bit. I remember the name because I pretended to be a yoga instructor in Panama for free accommodation <laughs> for two weeks. So I used to um, YouTube yoga classes before I fake taught. <laughs> this is one of the yoga poses we did. Let's press it back to down dog. Walk those legs out a couple more times. And then we're going to do it on the right side. So we send the right leg up. Bend the right knee, open the hip, drop the right foot down. 
stretching through the front of the hip. A lot of people don't like this one, but I think it feels really good. You can feel the difference afterwards. Coming forward to pigeon when you're ready, flex the foot, push left hip down into right heel. Give your mat a little clean if you need. Choosing to stay on the hands or coming down to the elbows. Hang out in your pigeon for a little while and then I'll take you into king pigeon. Breathe here in whatever position you want to be in. Relaxing through the shoulders, taking big deep breaths. Exhaling through the mouth. Do you know we detox a lot of toxins out of our body through our lungs? So for shallow breathing all day, we can't detox. So take big deep breaths here. I saw something that said we detox 70% of our toxins out of our lungs, but I'm not going to trust a random internet statistic, am I? <laughs> Coming into king pigeon if you choose, with the left hand grabbing the inside of the left foot. Try to square those shoulders forward again, stretching through the chest. Remember, you can kind of pull your heel towards your bottom and then let it go a bit if you like. Breathe. I do not find this stretch enjoyable, which means it's good for me. Choose to stay in your pigeon if you prefer. A few more breaths here and then we are all done. Feel free to stay and have some more stretches. You can do a little stretch video if you like. But I am going to make myself a post-workout smoothie. <laughs> it's my favorite thing to finish cardio lattes with. A couple more big breaths in your king pigeon or your pigeon. And bring those legs long. Give them a little shake out. And we are done. Awesome work. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you next time.